Welcome to MacGyver's Workshop, where you never know what we're going to be working on next. If you're not too careful, you just might learn something. Hi there, and welcome to MacGyver's Workshop. And we're working on the Old Blue project here, and this one's going to be part two of our uh, uh, valve cover modification uh, episode. Uh, basically, to catch you up, we had to raise our valve cover, make it essentially a tall valve cover. Now, uh, back in the day, I think Clifford made a tall valve cover, but uh, they're no longer available. And, you know, of course, your generic, you know, Chevy and Ford and Chrysler V8, you can get tall valve covers a dime a dozen, but not for the Ford straight six anymore. So, you know, if you uh, go hang in a set of honking Harlan Sharp roller rockers and put big old Chevy valves in the head and everything like that, uh, you're pretty much stuck trying to figure out how to raise the valve cover yourself. Now, you know, some folks, they say, well, I'll just stick a few gaskets in there and that's no good because that's going to leak on you. And, uh, um, you could uh, possibly get a spacer machined. That didn't work for me because uh, while there was a guy on the Ford6.com forum who was doing it, um, he's not doing it anymore. So those are no longer an option. So I'm left with building my own. So we took uh, two valve covers basically and made one and gave ourselves the extra height that we needed now the shiny spot to all this is that the uh, valve cover is, uh, one of the valve covers that is, that we did, uh, my donor truck had uh, an 86 model engine in it which has the newer design valve cover which also has the newer design uh, base plate and takes a newer design gasket which is much 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 better and uh, it's a rubber gasket and the valve cover has little ferrules on it and it compresses that rubber gasket to a certain point and then no matter how tight you try to tighten it those little metal dimples on the bottom there catch and uh, it won't squish the gasket out on you but so we're back to back to having our valve cover it's not all sandblasted and messed up like it was, but now it's four inches tall, or four and a half almost, really, aside from the stock three and something. And, you know, there's a few little dimples in there because there is some subtle shape differences between the uh, 86 and the, the old tin, uh, which refer to it as the Power by Ford valve cover. But, I'm guessing from two feet away this is going to look just fine. So we are uh, all said and done with this now. So we're just waiting for our new camshaft to come in. And uh, I'm going to be going out of town for about a week for my work. So that'll work out just right. Give, give my new camshaft plenty of time to get here. So uh, uh, that'll uh, work out good for that. Now, to talk about how I did this, um, of course, in the first episode, you saw how I uh, brazed it, and I brazed it from the inside, and of course, made sure that it didn't leak on us, and then we just used a, uh, just an ever slightest bit of body filler to fill in any imperfections as best we can, and then... I shot it with spray undercoating, uh, just the sides. I masked off the top. And that stuff dries really hard, kind of like a spray in bed liner. And it goes on real thick and builds, uh, has a real high build to it. So it filled in the remaining imperfections and uh, gives the valve cover a nice look, I think. And and more importantly, uh, in my case, uh, we wanted uh, the owner wants this 
valve cover uh, on there and uh, I wanted it to look as stock and original as possible and I think we achieved that so uh, we done good there I think and of course I know where all the mistakes are <laughs> but uh, they're purely cosmetic uh, we don't have to worry about the valve cover leaking or uh, anything eking out where where we braced it or anything like that we're all good there so uh, there you have it so that's pretty much it for the valve cover modification that went uh, a bit easier than I thought it would uh, there's no walk in the park mind you but um, it wasn't as uh, traumatic as it could have been so uh, thank you for watching and of course please subscribe and ring the little bell icon so you'll be notifi notified the next time we post a new video. And uh, you can also uh, email me at MacGyversWorkshop at gmail.com or you can check out our website at www.MacGyversWorkshop.net. So thanks again. Stay safe. See you next time.